Hi, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and welcome back. Today's episode is going to be about the color of a gem, okay? Uh, when a gem is certified, typically what happens is that it will be certified based on the gem's specific color and other types of characteristics of the gem. Today specifically we'll be talking about the color. And what do I mean by that? When you are referring to a gem, um, based on the scale of color, there are colorless gems, near colorless gems, uh, faint gems, very light, as well as light yellow. All right. Typically in the market, people prefer a colorless gem, not always, but that is typically the preference, and they are graded by specific letters. The D color is the highest grade when it comes to a colorless gem. A D for um, diamond, I believe, that's how it uh, uh, derived from, okay? So in, in other words, if you, are, if you do have a D-colored gem, regardless if it's a diamond, a moissanite, uh, a CZ, uh, or what have you, uh, the D-color is the highest grade when it comes to a colorless, true colorless gem with no hint of warmth, no hint of uh, a yellowish hue, uh, is truly colorless. When comparing uh, a diamond versus a moissanite and referring to the actual color of the gem, uh, the price will range significantly, depending if it's a colorless from a D to an E, from an E to an F, depending if it's a near colorless from a G to an H, an H to an I to I to an J. Uh, the colorless range uh, does not, is priced based on not just the change in color, but the change based on the carat weight that you're trying to purchase that color for. In other words, if you're buying a one carat D color versus a two carat D color diamond, uh, the price range will be very significant. The differences in color that I will be showing you today will be based on fluorescent light, LED light, as well as how it looks like on a hand indoors and outdoors. The reason why I do that is because I want you to be able to see all different types of lighting environments because in the real world, it's not a controlled lighting environment. You will be wearing it outside, indoors, out, you know, when it's raining, when the sun is out and all these different things. So it, it may be important to kind of see what it looks like, all right? So um, the different colors that I'll be showing you is the D color, skipping the E color, to the F color, skipping the G color, to the H color, skipping the I, to the J, and skipping the um, K to the L, all right? Uh, with that said, um, let's go ahead and get this going. So within the colorless range, there's D, E, and F. All that means is D, E, and F is still considered within the colorless range, but the E will have a very slight, very, very, very slight um, variation from the D where it may have a hint, very slight hint of color. It's still within the colorless range, but it's just very, very, very slight to the point where you may not even be able to see the difference between the D and E, unless you're a gemologist working with it in a lab under a controlled lighting environment. And then from a D to an F will be the same variation between a D to an E, okay? So after an F, if you are to go with a G color, an H color, I color, or J color, all that means is it's a near colorless. Near meaning it's, it's almost colorless, but it's not quite there just yet because there is a hint of warmth to the stone, uh, a slight yellowish hue, if you will. Um, very slight for the G, very, 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 very slight for the G. Uh, the H has a little more warmth to it, an I definitely has more warmth to it, and, and so does a J. Anything below a J, you will definitely see it with the naked eye, for the most part. Most people should be able to see it with the naked eye um, when wearing out in the sun, indoors, different types of lighting environments, and so on and so on. If you like what you see here, go ahead and hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.